Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a little different. And I say a little only because we are trying out products that I picked up off of Flip, which is an app that I have never tried before, but it popped up one day and said, hey, try me out. And for someone that I always purchase from Sephora or Ulta, and then granted, I'm going to do my own review, but sometimes I kind of want to have an idea of what a product does or what it's for because descriptions can be a bit vague. That is the amazing thing about Flip, and this is not sponsored. I am not partnered with them. It is an app that I just, I went shopping on and they have some cool products on there. They have videos from influencers, TikTokers, YouTubers, general people who just wanted to give a real, this is the truth review about a product. So I tried it out and I wanted to go through all the products that I picked up and try them on with you guys. Now you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see what products I picked up from Flip and what my thoughts are, just keep watching. Okay, my hair is looking a bit crazy. Haven't done anything with it. Have a couple hair products because I partnered with JVN again and they sent me a couple other items to try out because I loved their other products so much. Okay, so starting out, I've got the JVN Complete Conditioning Mist. This, shake it well, and then I actually spray it on my hair because this is meant to detangle and hydrate without weight. I absolutely love this, especially because I have thick hair and I don't want my hair weighed down because it's already going to be heavy as it is. Like when I get haircuts, I have her like thin it out, but I just want something to kind of help when I'm styling my hair. Then the JVN Complete Blowout Styling Milk. So just one to two pumps and I start at the bottom before I work my way up because I don't want it to weigh it down, but I feel like I just need it mostly towards the ends. Now, like we talked about in the intro, I'm using everything that I picked up from Flip, which this app is super cool because yes, you can go to Sephora and you can look at the reviews, you can look at the pictures, but I like Flip because there's actual videos of products being used. There's quick reviews from regular people, influencers, anyone who has tried it. I picked up the SB2 by Sutra. This is the two inch blowout brush, which look at this. I've never used a blowout brush before. I have used a blow dryer and a round brush, but I'm interested to see what this does because my hair can be finicky. It says ionic technology reduces drying time, tourmaline infused oval barrel for volume, and mixed bristles for detangling and added shine. So we're gonna try this out, first impressions. But if I can do two steps in one and not have to put a hot, another hot product on my hair, I will do it. So I'm gonna start this out. We're gonna see, I'll speed through some of it. So <laughs> one, I don't know how loud it is. And two, no one wants to sit here and watch me blow dry my hair for an hour. <laughs> I have combs just in case I need them, but I don't think I should because this has both types of bristles on it. So plugged in, there is a light to tell you that it's off, air, low, high. So there's those three settings. I don't know how loud this is, so we'll see. I'm going to start with low just to see, and then I'm going to switch to high. Okay. Oh wow, that's making some quick work of it. And it's not that loud actually. Just that side, and I like once I get everything done, because I can see like this is the frizziness from like right here, which I haven't started doing, but so far 
it seems like it's smoothing out and I just have to remember to go on top as well. And even putting my hand on top of it, it's not super hot like with the curling iron. I wouldn't be able to touch it so I can help with smoothing it. That was super quick. <laughs> I wish I had started a timer because my hair never dries that quick at all. My hair is super thick and we have three layers to do. All right, I'm gonna start a timer now. I wish I had done it to begin with. All right, so stopwatch. We're gonna go ahead and start and I'm gonna do the rest of this. I'm gonna speed it up so we can just see together. So far, we're only at 3.58. You guys, all my hair is completely dry. 10 minutes and 21, 22 seconds. We'll round up because also I had that first layer. 10 minutes? Seriously? I never get my hair dry that quickly and Look how smooth it is. I mean, I'll also attest some of that to the JVN products I put in my hair because my hair can be super frizzy and untamed. Oh, look at, oh you guys. And just to prove to you that all of it is dry, it is, you guys. <laughs> That is phenomenal. Okay, on flip, this retails for $99.99 and I think it is well worth it. That just cut out two things that I have to do. So instead of my hair taking an hour to do, it literally just took me, let's say 15 minutes because I didn't start the timer when I first started. I am impressed. And then to finish off, we're gonna use the JVN Complete Nourishing Shine Drops. I only use about like one or two drops. You don't need a lot. And then just run it through the ends of the hair. Oh my goodness, you guys. I cannot believe how quickly my hair dried. My hair usually takes about 30 minutes to dry with a blow dryer and a round brush and then like another 25, 30 minutes with either a curling iron or a flat iron. And my hair can get super frizzy and not cute real quick. <laughs> you guys, I am in love. Okay, this, I am so excited. It was on flip and I wasn't really expecting it because it seems like every time I look at Flip, there's new brands being added, and this is Pat McGrath Labs, which when we talk about some packaging, this is stunning. This is the Mothership Moonlight Seduction, and this is the first time I've actually purchased one of the Mothership palettes. The packaging itself, it feels heavy. I know that the palettes are pretty heavy, but this one, when I saw it, I just, I knew I needed it in my collection. Look at that, you guys. I just, I cannot get over the shades in here. I absolutely have to swatch the shimmers. Now, looking at this, there are three matte shades in here. I'm not mad at it because I feel like I can get something with these three matte shades because you have a mauvey pink, you have more of a plummy pink, and then you have this brown shade right here. And I think those are really all I need, <laughs> honestly, which is probably why I chose this palette the most. But we have to swatch the shimmers. And I'll probably just swatch all of them anyways because there's only three matte shades. And just get a feel for it. Okay, these are the top row. This one is Skin Tense Glow. Then you have Rosewood Romantique, Platinum Dusk, which, oh my goodness, you guys, this shade, when I look at it in the pan, it looks silver. On my hand, it looks like a pewter gray. Then you have VR Sextasy. That shift, it goes between like 
a cranberry burgundy to a teal and then astral gold lust. <sighs> now I don't normally swatch them on my arm, but I don't, I just don't feel like the hand's gonna have enough room. I kind of want to see how they look on my tattoos. Oh my goodness. Look at those shades, you guys. Oh, it's it stayed mostly on my finger. It barely swatched on here, which we've had that conversation. Swatches are not necessarily a representation of how the eyeshadows are going to perform. So much of it stayed on my finger. Now, the bottom row. This is Extreme Nocturne. Such a beautiful, like, dark brown on the verge of black. It's not a true black, and it's not a brown. It's like a black brown, if that makes sense. Bronze Devotion, Plum Cabaret, Blitz Venus. This shade is the prettiest champagne shimmer and then astral lilac aura stunning it's kind of like a topper it is so beautiful okay one thing i will say I'm kind of bummed about is that in order to know the names of the colors, I have to keep the container, which I wasn't planning on doing. So I'll use it for now, but I'm probably going to discard it. And next time I'll just have to point at colors if I use it again. To start out, I'm going to use Rosewood Romantic. Romantic. <laughs> I'm going to use my fluffy crease brush for that and just place it in the crease. I dipped in slightly, but it picked up a lot, and now I just have to blend this out. I'm also going to put it very slightly in the outer V. Just because I am going to use that darker shade to build it up. Now into Extreme Nocturne. I'm going to pick that up on my compacted smudge brush. And just back into Rosewood Romantic, just on the outer edge to blend those shades. Now what shade to choose? Now I'm going to go into VR Sextasy. And this one I'm going to try on a dry brush first. Just because I think it'll let me pick it up on a brush. Nope. That shade is stunning. And I'm going to go into Blitz Venus. And this one I think will let me pick it up on a dry brush. They merged so well together. So you get the icy champagne into that duochrome. Duo shimmer. And then no extra product. I'm just going to brush this forward. The eyes are done. Now we need to do the face. And I picked up some other products from Flip just to try out. This one I kept seeing and I was like, okay, I need to try that out because I have a primer that I, I do a two-step primer process. I do my hydrating and then I do one for the pores. This is the Mali Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. This is supposed to be, you can use as a primer, your finishing step, or just like a touch up. And it's not a powder, it's like, I had to touch it. It's like a putty, but it's clear. 
Now, its claims is its utterly sheer, lightweight formula instantly diffuses the look of pores and fine lines for a soft focus effect while keeping your shine at bay. So I think I'm gonna use it as a primer, just through here and up here where my lines are that I'm not a huge fan of, and see what it's all about. And then after I do my powder, like before I do my setting spray, touch it up and see if maybe it works that way. I'm all for trying this and seeing what it does. It also had a pouch with with the applicator in it. I think it's very interesting. But I am very intrigued by this because these are my problem areas. So I don't know how much I need. What? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm interested to see what it looks like with foundation and stuff on top of it. That is crazy. Okay. So don't like rub it on, just like pat it on. That is insane. Can you see the difference right through there? Vice this side. I don't know if you can see it. I can. That is insane. And if you've been here before, you know I am not a fan of my pores or my lines. But I'm interested to see how this works as a primer. And I'm going to use a foundation that I know works. You guys. I'm going to try it on my under eye as well and see if that works as well. Because my under eyes are not my favorite. I do have a new concealer to try out. It's not new new, it's just one I've never tried. The lines that I'm able to get seem to have like kind of smoothed out. This putty is like interesting. Oh, it moves around <laughs> this round too. Let's see, these lines are pretty deep. I don't have like high hopes. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Is this really doing what I think it's doing? The true test will be when I put makeup on, but I am also going to do my chin. This one I can never, ever get my foundation and stuff to not sink into. Alright, so primed with this, I might use it later after I've done setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. I do have a concealer that I'll come back for and we will see. Okay, for concealer, and I haven't tried this one out before, this is the Kaja Don't Sell Concealer. I have mine in the shade Fortune Cookie. And then for powder, I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier. Wow, you guys, this looks really nice. I might need a little bit more right here, but I'll see. It's not bad, but my redness is really strong today. Just through there. So far, so good. This is the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. <laughs> it's so cute. Is it me or did that just go on so smoothly? <laughs> this, I was skeptical of. I have the worst time with my under eyes. Okay, now to finish off this eye, which I love this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go back into the shade Rosewood Romantic. The shade is so lovely. Just place it underneath the eye. Going back into the shade Extreme Nocturne. And I'm gonna switch up my brushes for this because I also want to fix the outer V. 
fix touch up darken it a little bit just a little bit more smokiness now I'm gonna go into the shade astral lilac aura this is gonna go inner corner in brow bone and I want to see how it looks if it's not right for it then we will switch it up but this shade Ooh, it's so pretty. There is some fallout, but that's what dry brushes are for. Mm. That is not having it. For the brow bone, I'm gonna use the Skin Tense Glow. Okay, you guys. <laughs> This may be the cutest blush I have ever purchased and it will probably get put on this display piece because it is so stinking cute. This is the Jill Stewart Loose Blush. I have mine in the shade Saturday Brunch. Look at this, it is so cute. This top, it has like a clicking mechanism but then there's also a little like puff in here and then it has a sifter. It is so cute. So stinking cute. Just the, de <laughs> the detail of it. Now, I don't know how concentrated it is. So I dusted it in here, we'll see. I didn't like try to fluff it too much. Okay, <laughs> I needed to tap it a little bit. There's some color coming out. It is a very pale shade. I had to dig in, but... Ooh, okay, that is cute. I am gonna finesse this with <laughs> my blush brush, but I think I just had to like knock it around a little bit to kind of like get it to move around so I could get it on the little puff. It's so cute. And I do like it on my nose, just a touch of pink. Okay, let me grab my blush brush because I have a little more on this side that I need. <laughs> you guys, this will absolutely be on my display because I will probably reach for this quite a bit and there are other shades I'm gonna have to try them out I just I like it. it's just a subtle like splash of color I did have a little more concentrated on here and with my blush brush it just kind of swept away and muted down it is so cute it's not necessarily the pink that I would go for but I was trying it out, seeing. I will see what other shades they have. I'll probably pick up more of these. So stinking cute. I love this. Now, I usually do my brows before I do my eyeliner, but I picked up the Kaja Wink Stamp Wing Eyeliner. And we're gonna try this out together. Okay, so there is a left and right side and then it has the eyeliner to fill in the rest of it. I'm nervous because I've never used an eyeliner stamp. I've just kind of winged it and <laughs> hope that it turned out. So I'm interested to see if this cuts down on the time it takes for me to do my eyeliner or if it's just, I, I don't know, I'm interested. This is the long stamp. So there was a short and a long. And then the other nice thing is it tells you that it's gonna be expired in August 12th, 2024, but once opened, it's good for six months. All right, this side is the right side. Let's see. I don't know if you can really see it. You can see the point is on this side, and then this side is the one that matches up to right here. Wish me luck, fingers crossed. I really hope this works. Seriously? That was so easy. The heck? All right, well, I like to do my wings first 
and then do the rest of everything. So might as well go do the left and then fill it all in. Seriously, that was, that was it? Do you, do you guys see that? I may have like made this one a little bit shorter. Why have I not purchased this sooner? All right, let's, let's see. All right, so. Yeah, I probably took this one a little too high. That one would be my fault. Definitely needs some practice. And I probably should have laid it down a little bit more. Are you kidding me right now? That was so easy. And I just pulled it a little bit further just to give that, you know, the doe-eyed look. I'm so mad I didn't pick this up sooner. It's originally $29, which super easy. I'm getting two different things and liner. I spend that much on just like regular liners. They're pretty much identical now that I just fixed this one because I took this one too high. That's on me. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried it. You guys, this is so easy. It takes all the guesswork out. I'm gonna need to pick up the short one for work though. <laughs> Cause we are not allowed to have dramatic winged liner. Let me go do brows, mascara, waterline, and lips. And I'll be back with the final look. Okay you guys, I am back and this is the final look. Um, I kept it pretty neutral with the lips. I just used Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, which is one of my favorites. But my makeup today, I'm impressed. And then on top of it, I kind of touched on what Flip is. So with Flip, whether you're an influencer or not, when you place an order, you can review and do sh short videos, kind of like on Instagram or TikTok, and post those reviews. Um, one of the things that they allowed me to do because I placed an order and I had a certain amount that I reached, I got to pick two free items, which was the Kaja Wink. Phenomenal. I am so flabbergasted at how good it is. You saw, I didn't even have to turn the camera off to do my eyeliner, which I always do. And it was so simple, so easy. I will be reaching for this again. I messed up on this side. <laughs> it was the first time just stamping it on. But this this side, it is its thing. So I will keep using these. I might have to get the short one just for work because I don't have the long dramatic eyeliner for work, not allowed in military uniform. But I am impressed. And then the other thing that I got for free, which I was really surprised because I told you how much this cost, this SB2 blowout brush, $100. And they sent it to me for free because of how much I spent. I'll do the reviews and it'll open up my selections again. This was phenomenal. Look at my hair, you guys. It is just, I've never had my hair turn out like this with a blow dryer. I'm always trying to like make sure it's not frizzy, it's not all over the place. I am so impressed with this. <laughs> I will probably be reaching for this. It will cut down on whatever I have to take with me when I travel. I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. So cute. But if you're looking for something, and I, I will tell you, I have thick hair and I have to get it layered like I have to get my hair thinned out when I go to the girl that does my hair. Just, there's just so much of it. So when, it took me 
less than 15 minutes to blow dry and straighten my hair. Come on now, seriously? Now, let's talk about some of the other products I picked up. The Pat McGrath Mothership Moonlight Seduction. First off, I love the packaging on these palettes. I've never owned one of these. I've picked up the Bridgerton Pat McGrath. I've picked up some of the other ones. These, let's just do some makeup ASMR. These palettes, they're so, they just feel expensive. But look at this color story. Absolutely stunning. And I love how my eyes turned out. They just, they glisten. They just glisten in the light. I'll probably be reaching for this. There's a couple shades that I can use for work, keeping it kind of neutral. Maybe just going in a little bit softer with this shade and I can probably pull that off for work with like that champagne shade. That is one of my favorite go-to looks for in uniform. Can we talk about the cutest blush ever? This one from Jill Stewart. I absolutely love this component. It just pops off and then you've got the little puff. It is so cute. And this will probably just, I'm probably gonna set it right up here. Just waiting. It looks like kind of like a lollipop. <laughs> Doesn't it? Just, or candy apple. This puff from Beauty Blender, it actually smoothed out so nicely right here. Now the one thing I kinda wanna do is I want to try out the Mali one more time, but I really like how this applied my powder. It went on so nicely, even where I would normally get like the weird lines, it filled in, even, even down here, just so nicely. I'll keep reaching for this. It made it so easy to get into the corner. I know I usually use a sponge to get in there, but it just, it fits so nicely right up in there. I'll keep trying it. Absolutely love. Now, the concealer, the Kaja Don't Settle. I haven't used this before, and I like how it went on. It's really thin, but I did have to layer it on a little bit. I'll keep trying it out. Maybe I just need to build it up, but so far, I like how it looks underneath my eyes. Like, it's not super creasy under there. There's a couple creases. Those are normal. I'm used to it. I'm 38. I'm older. I'm embracing the lines and creases. Doesn't mean I have to like them. But so far, so good. We'll keep trying it out and see. Okay, so then the last thing, and this said it could be a primer, it could be a touch-up, it could just be something on top of your skin to perfect it. This is the Mali Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. I really like the color of the packaging, <laughs> but I'm interested, like, I just finished my makeup. I just wanna see, like, I can see a couple of my pores kinda coming through. So I'm interested to see what it looks like just on top. I mean, it feels soft, but I don't know that I'd be like, yep, this is like everything I thought. Oh, okay. I don't think I picked up enough product last time. This time I just kind of dug in and like, oh, it feels so soft. All right, I'm gonna keep trying this out. This is actually quite interesting. Because I was just kind of like tapping on top. It was when I like pressed in and actually picked up, like I could see it coming off of here. It was a big difference. Okay, you guys, color me impressed. I am really surprised I didn't actually have any fails on this. 
And I am absolutely in love with my eyes. You guys know the drill. I am obsessed with my eyeshadow sometimes. But anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know. Are you going to go and check out Flip? I was really intrigued to see it because I go on Sephora and Ulta. I can go to Walgreens and like see these different things. But they don't necessarily have videos of anyone talking about them. Then I got to go to YouTube and look for someone and maybe they've done a review. And I know I will pick things up because I'm going to review them myself. But sometimes it's nice to see someone else's opinion. So it is beneficial, especially if you're not a YouTuber or TikToker or any type of influencer and you want to know what the real is on these products, check out Flip. They have the videos and a lot of times you're not going to have to go and find a YouTube video that has 16 products listed and hope that you find like the right part of the video. It, it's a really cool app that I have found and I am so glad I did, but you guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below hit the bell for notifications to new videos and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up until my next video you guys bye i'll see you in the next one